Did you get ready in the dark or something? Because you look like a... Hi, everybody. If you're new to my channel, I am Lori, and you're watching the Chatty Bookworm. Welcome, and I hope you guys enjoy this. It's probably going to be long. Um, It's my February, March, February wrap-up, if I can talk. I read, I believe, 16 books. This was the month of rereads. Mar February? I keep saying March. February was the month of rereads. I think I read out of the 16 books, I think half of them were rereads. I had a good month, though. I did have, like, one or two that were... that I DNF'd. Um, I don't have... I don't think I have the ones I DNF besides one, which I was... I was sad about both of them. And I can't even remember the second one that was the DNF. I know it was, um... Uh, Twisted Hate, I think it was, by Ann Hong. I was really sad because everybody's loving that book. And I was just not feeling the two people in there. And, Wait, where are you going? Yeah. Where are you going? Where Sorry, are you, you going? guys. Sorry, it's loud. But, yeah, I just really didn't, I wasn't feeling like, the only thing they felt like they wanted from each other was sex. It didn't feel like they, like, I know that it's supposed to be hate to love, so, you know, it's going to take a while to get there, but come on. Like, I needed to feel like something a little bit more than just like they wanted sex. I'm sorry. I know some people don't mind that, but that that drives me nuts. I just wasn't, and I wasn't feeling any chemistry. If they just wanted sex, you know what I mean, and there was chemistry, I don't think I would have minded as much, but I was not feeling their chemistry. It just felt like sex, 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 and I didn't, you know, yeah. So that one I DNF'd. That was really sad, like I said, because I thought it was going to be at least a four or five star. This one was, this one really made me sad because I think this was on my five star prediction. I can't remember if Twisted Lies was on my five star prediction, but this one was. The Kindred by uh, Alexa, Alexa Dow, how do you say it? <sighs> this one, they're like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but they're supposed to be, like, able to... They did the world, like, the place did something where they gen genetically, like, what you call it, people, for they would be a kindred, and they could help each other. And, anyways, um, he found out... It's not a spoiler, because it happens at the very begin, pretty much the beginning, but he finds out that... Um, he, all, he already knew that he was adopted, but he found out that... Um, that his um, adopted, the people that he was, you know, his mom, his biological mom and dad were like a king, and queen, like really powerful. And they were, they were murdered and these people um, come for them, I mean, come for him to arrest them for their murder, for the, the mom and dad, his mom and dad's murder. And... He goes after his kindred because he knows that they're going to go after her. So he tries to get there before they could hurt her, get her and, you know, use her against him. And they, he, like, he stole this ship, spaceship, and he gets her and then the spaceship crashes. I was really liking the beginning of it, but then when they got to Earth, because they're in a planet, they're from another planet, and when they got to Earth, the guy just... I don't know. I just did not like the guy in here. Like, he just got on my nerves. And then it just felt like I still like YA, but this one felt too YA. I don't know. I don't know. And sometimes I like middle grade, so I don't know. It's just, I just did not like him. And it just some of the stuff that he said just sounds so kiddish, you know, like stuff that, like, I know they're 17 and they're still young, but, like, it was something like a 14, 15 year old would say, you know, and uh, he didn't feel like he was his age of 17. He felt a lot younger and, um, the girl felt a lot, I mean, look, felt her age. I really liked her, but I just couldn't get past him. And I was really sad because like I said, this was like a book that I thought was going to be a favorite. I mean, like a, if not a favorite, then at least a five star. It was on my predictions. I know for sure this one was, I was just really sad. I don't know if I might try to go back and read it another time or if I'm just going to unhaul it. But the Anne Hong one, yeah, it was 
Twisted Love. No, Twisted Hate. But that one, uh, like the first one, I gave Twisted Love, I think it was. Right? The first one's Twisted Love. I think I gave like 3.75, rounded up to 4. So it was okay. Um, book 2, which was Twisted Games, was one of my favorite books. One of my favorite romance ones that was like a bodyguard. He's a bodyguard and she's a princess. So like Princess Diary vibes. It was so good. I get that one six. But this one, I just did not like it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go, if I'm going to read the last one. Because from what I read about the guy that's going to be the main character in the next one, I don't like him so far. So I don't know. I might like wait and see what the reviews say for that one. And then maybe like... If I could find, like, if it goes down on ebook, I would get it. Or if it went free on, you know, Kindle Unlimited, I would get it. But I wouldn't pay full price for it again. Yeah. Okay. Then I read my first six star read of, the, of February. And that was A Temperature of Me and You by Brian Zepke. This one, I kept going between a five and a six. I was like... I want to get five, six, five, six, but I keep like, 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 come on. I want to like another book. <laughs> I don't know what I liked about this so much, but it was so good. And we really didn't get much really of one of the characters as we did the other one. But when they were like together, I was digging them. Um, the one guy has, um, like he touches you. I mean, like he, like he, uh, what's that called? Like where you um, throw like, start fires. He has that power that they, that the one guy on, um, what are those movies called? You know, with, um, with, um, oh my God, what is the name of that? Oh, my daughter loves them, loves the movies. The one with, um, oh my gosh. Manigo, Manigo, how do you say his name? You know, um, Professor X, you know, all that. He has the one that that one guy did where, he, like, you can shoot out the fire and stuff. And, yeah. So, and the other guy falls in love with them. And the one that falls in love with them is the one that's the main character. Um, Dylan? Dylan is the main character, and Jordan is the one that has the the ability and the ma the fire power, whatever you want to call that, where you can like you know cause fires, yeah, because he like has to like lit it off and stuff like that, so he has to like pl find places that he can like use his his fire power without you know without like hurting somebody because he could hurt somebody really bad if he doesn't find a way to use that fire and everything like that. And there's people that are after um, Dylan because they know that Dylan and Jordan are together and they want Jordan, you know. So yeah, it was really good. I know I'm not explaining it good, but it was really good. Really, really good. Then I read... And I don't even remember what this is about, but I gave it four stars. It's Mad Love by April Jade. Let me double check. Oh, okay. I think this is the one where the boy is sick. Yeah. Okay. I read Mad Love. It's a book one in the Dangerous Daddies by April Jade. It's this one. And... He was, like, the, uh, I don't remember the one, what their names are. There's Benjamin, which is the, the boss, the bo mob boss. And what is the other guy's? I don't remember what the other one's name is. I'm trying to see if it tells you his name. For the life of me, I cannot remember. But anyways, the white guy is sick, and he's, like, in the locker room of the place where the um, mob guy works. And he thinks that the guy's going to, um, you know, arrest him and stuff like that. But instead he takes him home and of course it's their romance. It was pretty good. It was more like a 3.5. It 
but I rounded up to four. Okay, now my now it's going to be the first one I reread. And of course, I'm not going to talk about it because you guys already know this. A lot of the books I read this month <laughs> that I reread, of course, like every month is a Necessary Evil series. So I, I read Unhinged again. This is like my fourth time reading it. And this is Adam and Noah's story. That's all you guys need to know. The dad, um, Thomas, um, adopts these boys that have psychopathic, I mean, that are psychopaths, and he wants them to get rid, I mean, kill people that get away with stuff, like like rape, the system can't, you know, like arrest them or something, or they don't, or they're, um, or the system just don't give a damn because, you know, the people that are being, being, um, like, killed or, or abused, you know, or, are um, minorities and stuff like that, you know, people that aren't rich and are poor or, you know, things like that. So, um, yeah. And I love this. I just love Adam and Noah. Noah is just my baby. Like, he's like, if I would say my favorite character altogether, it would be Noah. If I would say couples, I will tell you who that will be in a little bit. But this one is definitely, like, all together, he's my favorite. And Adam killed Noah's dad. And we come to find out that, that Noah was being abused, sexually abused by his dad. And that's why Noah killed him. And also, we find out, it's not a spoiler because it tells you right away, that, that there was other people besides his dad that was sexually abusing him. And they're trying to, Noah's trying to figure out, and, and Adam and the rest of the family are trying to figure out who, you know, who, what you call it, who the other people are so they can get revenge on them, you know, get rid of them, you know. And in between, Noah and Adam fall in love. And I just love these two. Let's see. Then I read a book that I gave two stars to. This is the lowest I've given in a long time. It was Saddens Affair by H.G. Colton. Like, I didn't understand what was going on. The only reason why I kept reading it is because I wanted to find out what was going on. And I know that, um, what is his name? I can't remember the guy's name. But he's the one that's in the um, next two books. But I can't remember the name of those either. Um, Hunting, Haunting or Hunting Adeline. And the other one is the other, whichever the, the other one is. I don't know which one comes first, Haunting or Hunting. But yeah. And uh, Zane, I think his name might be Zane. And, um, and he was the only one that had me curious. Like I liked him when he showed up. That's the only reason why I gave it two stars. It probably would have been a one star if he didn't show up. Maybe even half of a star. But I just loved him so much. I don't know how I'm going to feel about him in the other books. Because he's like the stalker, I guess. I'm not sure. But this one was just strange. Like, she lured these... She thought these guys were bad. And she lured them into, like, this... Carnival-like thing or something. I don't know. It's very strange, you guys. Very strange. I just... Yeah. I did not care for that one. Then I read my next six-star read. And, of course... The fourth book in the Necessary Evil series, Head Case. This is Zane and Asa's story. And this was really, really good. This one was very, like, Asa loves to, like, hunt his, who, his sex, you know, who he wants to have sex with. He likes to, like, play, like, hunt them down before he has sex with them. And he has this sex dungeon. Oh, my gosh, you guys. And anyways, he meets Zane. Zane um, knows something is going on with the family, you know, and he wants to he he wants to get his big break as a reporter. So he he goes to a thing where Thomas is supposed to be because he's hoping that he could befriend Thomas and you know get the info. And instead, he meets Asa, and stuff happens, and we find out that. There's like this, um, what do they call it? Like um, this game going around and people that play this game are committing suicide. And 
it's not a spoiler because it tells you, by the way, Zane's brother is one of the ones that played the game and was mur and died. And they team up to, um, you know, to uh, find out what happened. Like, why are they dying and all that kind of stuff? It was really good. Like, I tell you, the sex scenes in here were hot. Like, he, like, like I said, Ace just likes to hunt his prey. So, if you like stuff like that, yeah. And Zane, at first, I was like, I don't know how I'm feeling about Zane. Like, I love their sex scenes, but I don't know how I feel like him as a character. But, my gosh, by the end of this, by the middle of this book, I was like, yeah, this is my baby. Now I understand, like, why Asa wants him. And um, Avi and Felix story is next, which is Madman, and I'm so excited for that. I think it's supposed to come out like around the 15th of this month, if nothing changes. I think Amazon still has it for April, but that's just like a time that she does. Like she puts, the author puts like a certain time that she thinks it might be out by, and they just put that one, and it could change, and usually it does. Usually it's like a month, month and a half before it's supposed to, what Amazon says. So yeah, so that'll be coming soon, and I'm so excited. Then I read Rough Heat. This one was another one that was like a 3.75, 3.5, I mean, and I rounded up to a 4. I don't remember what happened. I know it's Mel, Mel, Mel Romance, or is it Mel, Mel, Female? Let me double check. I can't remember if it was last month or this month that I read one that was Mel, Mel, Female. But I think this one's Mel, Mel, Mel. Let me look. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, like, um, the one guy is having trouble, like, with his heat, or whatever you want to say. And, um, they hire, um, uh, Leo, I think it is? Leo? Who's a, uh, like, what is it, what do they call it nowadays? Sex worker? I don't know what it's called nowadays. Let me know down below if you guys know. But yeah, and he, um, they hire him to help during the heats and stuff like that. There's more to it than that. There is some other things going down. But for the most part, it was just sex, sex, sex. And I didn't mind it. Like, sometimes I just love a book that has good sex in it. <laughs> yeah, and that's what that one looked like. And it was by... Mar Marina Vekos? I'm not sure how you say the name. <laughs> I suck at pronouncing names. Then I read the, reread the first one in, in the, um, that's, I mean, the Elite Protection Services, which is Intoxicating. This is Wyatt and Link's story. This is the first one, right? Let me double check. Pretty sure. Yeah, this is Wyatt and Link. And... Link is hired by Wyatt's dad to watch over him because Wyatt's dad is getting ready to rerun for, may uh, is he mayor or governor? Maybe governor. I think it's governor. And just like all of her books, there are a lot of trigger warnings. Um, Noah's dad is a major asshole. I mean, not Noah. Wyatt's dad is a major asshole and... He doesn't love his son, and oh, he's just awful to, to Wyatt. And so Wyatt, of course, has a lot of daddy issues. Um, he, his dad, Wyatt's gay, and his dad sent him to one of those, um, you know, where you try to beat them, to beat the sex out of them, or I mean, the gay out of them, or whatever you want to say. And, um, okay, everybody, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so... Um, he's just like, why is just in a bad place? Um, like I said, Link is hired to watch over him until election is done because, um, he, Wyatt, like, is drinking and driving and at the beginning, it's not a spoiler, and he almost dies because he's trying like he's just beating us stuff he's not caring if he lives or dies but as you read his story you understand because of his dad and 
all that his dad has put him through and stuff, like why he's like the way he is. But him and Link are just so cute together. Like, I just love them too, like so much. Like, they are just so cute. And Wyatt has a best friend, Charlie, and I just love Charlie. And yeah, it was just so good, you guys, so good. Let me make sure I'm going in order for these, okay? Because I suck at remembering orders. And then I read the third, no, book two in The Necessary Evils. I reread that one again, um, which is Psycho. This is Lucas and August. August and Lucas so far are my favorite. Spoiler alert. I have been able to, since I'm a patreon of um, Anli, um, I have been reading, like, chapters of Felix and Avi, Avi, how do you say his name, story, and they might be my favorite couple now. Sorry. But right now, until I finish the whole book and know for sure, this one, these two are my favorite. Lucas is a psych. I don't think it's psychic. It's something else. He doesn't go by psychic. But... Um, he was like demoted because he saw another agent killing people and no one believed him. They believed the other guy over him and he was, like I said, demoted and he now is, works, in, um, in the place where, um, August works and course they're gonna fall in love and this one is trying to get the proof that this guy is really you know killing these women these women and and you know and just um also the guy is that's doing it is stalking lucas so they're trying to get this guy you know taken care of for he could you know for lucas could have his life back this book is so good, you guys. Like, I just love these two. Like, I fell in love with these two from the very beginning. Like, their first encounter, even before it got sexual, I was like, I love you guys so much. You two are so cute. Like, oh my gosh, these two. Oh my gosh. And how August is with Lucas. How, like, oh my gosh. I will say, spoil alert, there is cutting in here. But it's the party that is, that is being cut, loves to be cut. It's how it helped, you know, it's one of the things that he likes. So just be aware of that if you don't like books that are kind of, um, you know, I mean, that have like cutting in it and stuff like that. Because there's a lot of different like kinks that these guys like in these books. So be prepared, be prepared. But they're so good and they're so, f for being like so such serious topics, they're funny, these characters. Like, I've laughed so much in these books. Then I read another reread. I read Absolution, uh, the first book in the Protector series by Sloane Kennedy. This is, uh, I forget his name, Cole... Mays and Jonas. It's a Mel 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 romance. And yeah, I don't want to say too much about it, but it's so good. I think I gave this one five stars both times I read it. Like, I just, I like in this book and one of her other books, um, how she like does the Mel Mel Mel. Like, I feel like she gives all three of them just the right, right amount of attention with each other, like with the three or you know, separately, if they want to do, like, you know, like, if they want to go on a date, you know, with just two of them instead of, you know, and not the other one and stuff like that, I think that she set that up really good. All these guys have demons, of course, that they're trying to fight. Something's happened to either them or their loved ones. Yeah. So, they're very dark, but they're so good. I love this one. Then I reread Crescent City. House of Earth and Blood. Just like always, I loved it. Of course, I can't give it six stars anymore because <laughs> I already read it once. So it's a five star this time around just because. But oh my gosh, I just love, I know a lot of people don't like 
um, Bryce and Hunt together, but I just love them together. And this book, I just, so much stuff happens. I just love, like, like, just this world. And I just love Bryce. If I had to choose between Bryce or Hunt, I would pick Bryce. I'm sorry, I would. I know a lot of people would probably be the opposite, maybe. But I just love Bryce. Like, I love that she's more than what she seems. And something happens. And, well, it's not a spoiler if you read The Flap. But I feel like, the, you know, that gives too much away. So I'm not going to say what it says, just in case you haven't read it. But just say there's a death. That there's people being that are dying in this book. And she is um tasked with Hunt to find out um who's doing the killings. And this is an urban, I think that's what they call it, urban fantasy, something like that. Because they have like technology, at least the Crescent City part has technology. And this is just like more like the first one is more like a um mystery thriller more like a mystery type of fantasy kind of thing you know you get more of a fantasy I mean, you know um, that kind of feel because they're trying to find out like I said who's doing the murderings and stuff like that so yeah I really like that one and then I read I think this was my last six star yeah House of Sky and Breath of course I started this Friday, finished it Saturday night. That ending, that's all I'm going to say without spoiling anything, but that ending just was like, wow, like, what the freak? I want book three now. This one is feels more fantasy-ish than the other one. Um, I know a lot of people were like, oh, I'm hoping Bryce and Hunt aren't in games at Bryce gets with, what is his name, Addis, Adis, something like that. I was like, why? Like, why? Like, he's like, what, 2,000 years old? I don't know how old he is, but ew, sick. Like, come on, you guys. I don't mind, like, what is it called? Like, um, over, I mean, you know, someone being old, older than the other one. But two, almost 2,000 years old? Ew, and he's like a daddy. Ew, like a daddy daddy. Not a like a sexual daddy. <laughs> Not like like one that I would want to be like, have as a daddy. <laughs> that type of a way. You know, sexual way. No. Ew, I'd be like laughing at, when I had to try to call him daddy. I'd be like, ew, and throw it. Try to, ew, I'm sorry, you guys. That's just way too old. <laughs> no, to me, him, he is more like, the dad that she should have <laughs> over the dad that she does have. And I love Hunt in this one. This one has a lot of, um, what is that? Like spy. This has felt so spy -y because they want, they're like the resistance and then they're, you know, for, um, yeah, they're like the, yeah, what I was just saying, resistance. And, oh my gosh, we got, um, we got um, Hunt, of course. We got Bryce, of course. We got um, Theron. We got um, my favorite, which my mind right now is killing me, Rune. And my second favorite with is Ethan. We got all of their point of view. So if I'm forgetting anybody, I'm sorry. But we at least got five. I will say, I don't know if this is considered spoily, but I didn't understand why we had... Theron's point of view. Just say that. I wanted more. That's one of my gripes for this one is I wanted more of him. And yeah, that's probably my only really my big gripe. I wanted more of him. Like I got plenty of my Ethan. Oh my gosh. I got plenty, like I said, of Rune. Like Rune, oh my gosh, you guys. Like his part in here without spoilers is my favorite. I just love him uh, and what his big plot thing is in here. Love it. His story in his one, I should say. Just love it. If you want, if you wanted Hunt and and Bryce to, ha to finally hit the sheets, have some hot, hot, hot sex. Yes, baby. 
<laughs> and I know some people didn't like the sex scenes. I love the sex scenes. Oh my freaking gosh, I love the sex scenes. But that ending, I would say if that ending didn't happen, this one might have been a five star just because a little bit of it was slow. But that ending gave it six freaking ass stars and it made it my favorite out of the two so far. I just like love the world. I loved Ethan. I'm a very plot, I mean, I mean, character driven person. So getting Ethan and Rune and a lot of them, mwah, chef's kiss. Like I said, the only thing is Theron, Tharin, how you say his name is, I wanted more. I don't know why he had a point of view. I will say that there were some interactions with him and Ethan that I loved. So good, you guys. I loved it. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be long. I'm so sorry. Then I read Lola and the Millionaires, <laughs> part one, um, by Catherine Moon. Basically, her having a, a lot of sex. <laughs> um, and she has, uh, it's not a spoiler because it tells you right away. She was abused by, I think it's an alpha, a couple of alphas. I think they're alphas, or they might be the the second le level. I always forget which one's which. But she, one of the other, she was like, a, yeah, they really, these two guys really did a number on her. And so she doesn't like, like, other alphas very well. Like, she's scared and stuff. But, um, yeah. And, yeah, so she has to deal with that and fall in love with all the different guys. I liked it. No! <laughs> Four stars. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Hi. And then I read, a re I reread Retribution. How do you say that word? Which is the third book in the um, in the Protector series. <laughs> this one is uh, Michael and Tate. I can't really tell you too much because it ain't that big of a book, and it will spoil it. But I really like these two. Um, I like Tate more than um, than Hawk, Michael, whatever you want to say. Um, just like, kind of like the, what you call it series, like the um, Unhinged series. Or Necessary, yeah, not Unhinged, but you know what I mean. The Necessary Evils. You know, like, they these guys have, like, a lot of stuff that happened like, to them or someone that they loved, and they, you know, they're not afraid to, like, kill people if they have to, like, to get, you know, to protect their loved ones and stuff. It's really good, but like I said, it's hard to, like, tell you too much without spoiling the plot, but it was really good and steamy. This one I gave a four star. It's a reread. I, it was really more like a 3.5. There was just some stuff that that uh, Michael or Hawk, whatever you want to call him, did that that I did not like. And then I read um, the final one in Love and the Millionaires, and it's just more about, of course, sex, and more about her um, trying to, I mean, more like, because um, that guy is still after her, and stuff like that so we got to get that resolved and she gets more involved with the pack and you know the other guys and then the last one I read was a reread of course and that was Atonement this is uh, Dante and um, Magnus story Magnus is supposed to go and um, like testify in court against this something that happened at, of course and uh, what did it say? Dante was sent to like protect him along the way to make sure no one tried to kill him or nothing like that. But there's also um, what is it like? Um, I'm trying to see what I can say without spoiling anything. His daughter was killed. I'll say that much, and he's mourning her. Um, and Dante has a brother that went missing. It's not a spoiler because you hear about it before, but yeah. And he's trying to find out what happened to his brother 
And of course, it's like hate to love at first. Like, these two do not like each other at first. <laughs> but they're so cute. Like once they, once, um, I always forget his name. Once Magnus decides that he wants to be with Dante, like, I just loved it. I just thought it was so good. And those were the 16 books I read. And like I said, eight of them were rereads. So yeah, I had a good month. I had, like I said, those two DNFs. And there was one that was a two star. Everything else was like 3.75, four, fives, or sixes. So yeah. And I am so sorry this was so long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how many books you read in February. Yay, I remembered the month. <laughs> and uh, let me know what you're planning to read in this month. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. You guys know the drill. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. And if you do, please hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video like this is up for your viewing pleasure. And remember, don't be afraid of DNF. And I hope you guys enjoy your guys' books. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Bye.